system we have here is called Rhino Guard. This Sorry, what do you say? Rhino Guard? Rhino. Rhino, Rhino Guard. Rhino Guard. Okay. Um, so we have Passy Guard, so this is Rhino Guard. Right. So we conceived this Bogler Proof system because of the deficiency we are having in, in the market. Right. So what are, what are the deficiencies? You buy a Bogler Proof system, when they stall it for you, you can't lock it. Sometimes you have to put grease and oil in it so that it prevents it from making noise. Right. Some of them are some of them they are tilted. So when they are opening and closing, it doesn't look beautiful. The issue is that people who can afford the most expensive ones are a little. So there is a vast majority of people who want something of a good quality, but the price is quite affordable. So we brought this concept. Brilliant. And this concept is from South Africa. But we conditioned it here so that we can do the installation for people and the price too is good. So basically, if I get you right, you got the system, but you altered it to maintain the quality and also to fall within an affordable range for most people in the market to be able to use it. Okay, brilliant. So, so uh, this Bogla Proof system is a double system. We have the first in, in here, that is a, a we call it a square pipe and we have a one inch here Brand. one inch pipe here okay all all the things you see here are governized metals and there is no welding okay. it's only riveting right so if i may pause you for a second uh when you say Galvanized. So galvanized for some people means it's anti-rust. It's anti-rust. It's anti-rust. So it doesn't rust. It doesn't rust. Okay. So if it was steel, it, it may rust it may after rust after after some time. After some time. Yes. Okay. Now uh, to backtrack a bit, uh, we didn't really know what beggar proof. We are looking at something, but so beggar proof is exactly what. What I know is some sort of security feature, but what exactly is it? Okay. So the name denoted. Begla proof. Uh, you're preventing a begla from entering your homes okay. and, and your, your, your offices. So we had something that prevents the beg the beglars from entering. So that is why they came with the name called the begla the begla proof. This particular system that you're showing us, is it for a door? Is it for a window? What exactly are we looking at? Okay, this system you're looking at is particularly for a window. Okay. Uh, window in the sense that. Um, when you are standing outside, you see we have a key knob here. Right. So you can open it when you are inside. You open it and then you lock it. Right. But when you are standing outside and you look behind it, there is no knob on it. There's no when lock. There's, there's no there's no lock to prevent intrusion from outside. Right. Yes. Yeah, so one thing is that somebody will say, why don't we do fixed burglar proof? We prefer the windows to be like this so that in case there is a fire outbreak, in case there is an emergency, you can easily open and then escape. If you right. do all your windows all fixed and there is a fire, how do you get out? That, that's something I was actually planning on asking about because we see that in most homes uh, uh, over here in the market, uh, most of the security or the burglar proof system are fixed in place and that poses a huge problem in the case of an emergency like you said like a fire outbreak there's no escape point so with something like this you can easily open it, open it. and uh be, able, be in a position to escape. to escape or okay perfect so if you can carry on uh can you were talking us through the pipes the type of pipes and yeah. other features so I, as i told you we have uh, the pipe and we have to use the one inch pipe and i said we use um Riveting and no welding. The reason Correct. why we don't like the welding is anything that you weld has a tendency to rust. So we, we are trying to alter welding completely out of it. Right. Now with this particular system, as I told you from the, the local ones, when you're opening there's noise and uh, opening becomes a problem. Right. Especially with this something like this size, you can hardly open it. But if you look at our feature, if you open it like this, it's very easy to open. Uh, a, a kid can open it easily from inside and then it slides easily. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So smoothly, so smoothly, so smoothly. Um, easy to break, easy to lock, easy to break, easy to lock. And then when it locks, you just lock it, you just take your key out, and then that's it. That's it. Perfect. That's it. Perfect. So easy to operate. So easy to operate. So 
we came up with this system so that people can people who cannot afford the most expensive one yes though they don't want the local one at least can come to this particular from Laku system perfect okay Ni. so uh thank you very much for all the information so far uh now what i wanted to find out is that um if you're to make an installation for windows uh for standard like three bedroom house uh how long would it roughly take you to assemble something uh of this nature for maybe a three bedroom house uh with maybe about 10 windows or so how long roughly would it take you to do that for for a standard three bedroom house 10 windows shouldn't take more than two weeks shouldn't take more than shouldn't two take weeks. more than two weeks then okay. we shouldn't take more than two weeks right if there's going to be any delay maybe one more week but it shouldn't take more than two weeks right yes. and uh with respect to the uh payment how is that structured what are the payment terms usually for uh engaging your services or anybody offering a similar uh facility so you can pay 70 percent down payment when the job is done and you're satisfied you raise a 30 percent right balance right so is the 30 percent after installation 30 percent after installation, after installation. After inspection that everything is okay then you give us a balance okay so that's it uh another important thing is that for people who are not used to this system who are accustomed to the fixed one now for something like this somebody will say uh what sort of warranty or what sort of assurances are given if somebody is going for this sort of system for for a system like this we can give you five years warrant um in total but with the in case there's 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 damage through a burglar maybe a, somebody tried to temper with the system with the system that one will not be part of the warranty right because that one somebody tempted with it and that one you call us to come and then service it that one will be a charge to you right. but at least five years warranty on the blocking system on the riveting system on anything that during the course of using there is any fault with it you call us we come and service it right. brilliant thank you is there any other thing that uh you want to talk to us about with respect to the windows before we move on to the other things i'm sure you want to show us so uh, I think there is nothing so far everything is okay um, our system closes very well i think it takes it's able to close 25 percent of its full length compared to maybe the local ones when you close it can be really closed very well so you still will not have the space you want but this one closes very very well and then, i can see literally when you close them can you close them again the, the, when you close it can you close it again for us to see it flashes together yes. there's very little gap yes. and you have a wider space, wider space that in a case of an emergency, emergency you can, you escape can easily escape so really yes if you turn. it's also flashing neatly flashing, yes, yes okay forgive us for the, <laughs> i know this is a sample, this is a sample of, of you moving you, it from place to place so. yeah. and it, it actually even shows the durability of the system because mm -hmm. you can clearly see that uh although it's been moved about uh, a bit it's still strong still strong okay wonderful so um i see on your table here your work board that there's some items uh lying over here if we can start from here and explain what, what are these uh, I, I believe this is how they are assembled yes this is how they're assembled if you can make do of this yes. item over here uh, so what are we looking at what is this one here so what we are looking at here this ones are called washers Right. They are put in between the metals to prevent it from rubbing against each other. Okay, so this prevent one, some sort of friction. Yeah, to prevent friction so that it doesn't peel off uh, the paint works that we've done here. Right. So th these things prevent it from happening. And these ones are called rivets. Okay. Rivets, we have different types. We have by 30, by 40, by 50. We have different kinds of rivets for these works to be done. Right. And for joining, we have something we call hollow rivets. All right. And we have different types of hollow rivets. So we have to be, we have specific ones we use for the hollow rivets for it to be done. So for joining, it's hollow rivets for for the cross links. And then for assembling, is the, the rivets. Brilliant. And then we, we assemble it and then everything is done. Uh, this one here, this long system that you've got here, I presume this is for a door. This is a door. Right. This is a door. Um, so, so someone may ask can you use this system uh 
for what you call it um, for your household main entry door and can you be used for a shop because I see, I've seen a number of them in shops is it the same system that they use or uh, do you alter it from a house to a shop or basically it's just the width of the door it's, it's just the width of the door all systems are the same whether right. it's a shop or a house all systems are the same right and you can use it for the front of your shop you can use it as a security uh, uh, feature for your your main door to your house right all systems are standard we don't alter it because of one particular building uh, also yes. so okay all systems are the same brilliant okay so let's walk down and as we go down um i see there are some spray works that have been done here some of the pipes that have been sprayed up uh over here uh, if we go into your spray i see these beads they are very intriguing uh what, what are they um these beads are wooden the reason why we use the wooden is we realize that some of the places that we go are let's say the places that's it's, it's, it's the place like there's a sea and you know sea brings about rusting right now the things that we use we have to prevent rusting from happening right and therefore we don't use steel so right. much and because of these we, we use the wood in order for it to to prevent the rust right so these things are coated so that the rust do not get it no matter what happens rust do not get it as you can see some of the samples that we've done all those things contain the wood it just holds it and binds Bind it, together. it together yes right so these things are all wood brilliant but very strong because it won't do it you can't easily crush it like that yes brilliant. so this, these are the wood things we use in, in joining of the metals to the, the cutter pipes and okay. the half inch pipes okay Ni. so i noticed that over here at this section you've got like some sort of spraying workshop or uh, spraying facility. Can you tell us exactly what goes on here? Okay, so basically what we do here is that we, we do the spraying on the metals. Right. And before we do the spraying, we, we, we treat the metals and then put primers on it. Okay. And then we use high quality paint. The paint we use are car paints. Right. So that's not ordinary paint to give you high quality um, and finishing. Okay, so it's the same spray work that is carried out on a vehicle on, on a, a vehicle car and the car okay that's so, what we use on the metal right so when you say cleaning uh can you explain what exactly you mean by cleaning you say you're cleaning the metals before you prime and spray them so what, what okay. is the cleaning um so what we do is that you clean it by using water soap and then and then duster and you clean all you know the soap is able to take um, the oily stuff any um, residue, any residues, dust? Yes, and just leave it to dry. Right. When the primer goes on it, the, the primer goes on it, it, it prevents anything from the metal from rusting or foaming or anything Perfect. before the, palette, the paint goes on it. When the paint goes on it, it's done. All right, so basically, this is the spray shop this where spray shop. everything in that yes. sense takes place. Yes. So these are the same. Um, Galvanized pipes that we saw that we yes. just saw yes. over there. Yes. Okay. So yep. So the, these are more of the sprayed wax, and then over here on this wall, I can see you've lined up. Let me just get a good shot of them. Uh, some of the bits that are part of the uh, burglar proof system. So, uh, can you explain to us what are we looking at? What okay. do you call this part of it? These ones are called cross links. Cross links. Yes, okay. Cross links. So cross links are the ones that form the X. Okay. X of the the burglar proof system. Okay. So basically, we, uh, it's five holes. One, two, three, four, five. It's called five holes cross links because it has five holes. Right. Yes. We know we have one which is three holes. But we, we we do the five holes to give better security because the longer it is, the better. Okay. So we do the five holes cross links. Right. Okay. And so this forms this forms the collapsing part. The, the collapsing part of the burglar proof. Okay. Great. Right. So how long does it take to prime and spray uh, the windows frames or the uh, door frames? Usually, how long does it take, and what's the exact process 
that goes into it. Okay, so when the primer goes on it, we wait for some time before the, the main paint goes on it. When the paint goes on it, we have to wait 10 to 15 to 20 minutes. Right. Before it dries up and then we come and set a new one and then we do another spray. So roughly we can go with a set of this, we can go let's say eight to 10 times of it. Oh, right, yes. okay, that, that's good. So yes. uh, it's quite a speedy process. Quite it's, a speedy process. Also, what the, the, the things we add to the page, we have hardness, we have this, we have that, so that it speeds up the process so that we can finish on time. All right, and you do everything here in house. Everything. You here have your in own house. team that does the spraying. The spraying and everything, the join and everything here. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. Okay, let, let's walk back to this section here okay. and then probably we can right so uh you've opened up one of the uh door burglar proof systems so can you explain to us what we are looking at and if there's any difference between this and the windows or what exactly uh the door system entails okay so as i said in the beginning um the the we have the door system, we have the door system and the window system. This is a door, you can see how huge it is. Right. And uh, the measurement determines the number of lines that come into the system. Right. Now, if you look at the lines, we have one, two, three, four, five lines. Five lines, to give yes. maximum security to the doors. Right. Aha. Uh -huh. So, you have the cross links here. So, so show me the cross links. These are the cross links. Right. These are the cross links. Okay. Okay. These are the cross links. So just as it is, it will be difficult for somebody to put, to their, put their hands through. Yes, to, to They're quite narrow. The yes, quite narrow. Quite narrow, quite narrow yeah. to prevent any someone. intrusion or yes, any intrusion. attempts to yes. even yes. put your hand inside. Yes. Right. So uh, these cross links, they are the same one that we have on the window. We have on the window. Right. And these ones come with two locks. Right. But since it's not complete, I. I uh, I can show it to you, but it comes with two locks. That is one on top, one, one on the bottom. One at the lower yes, end of yes, it. Yes. All right, good, splendid. Uh, is there anything else that we may need to know about the door system? This, this is the door system. Um, just like the window. Perfect. It also opens very smoothly, very, right. very smoothly. Just like the, with the window there, so. Uh, do you mind putting the window one next to it? Then our viewers can see how it looks, right? So as previously shown, so it will be opening the same, but uh, the only difference here is the fact that you, with the door, you have two locks, two locks, one at the top, one at the top, and one, one at the, the bottom. bottom. Okay. So this is the door system when it's opened up. And then this is the system when it's closed, all flashing together with very little gap in between so when it's closed it looks very lovely okay great yes me so uh, we are back again uh, to our workstation where we started from I'm just going to take another shot of this door system here really lovely uh, now I had a few more questions that I wanted to ask which I'm sure our viewers would also love to know uh, is um, if somebody is looking for a regular proof system and they are anywhere in the country or probably even outside Ghana uh, what are some of the things that they should look out for when they are speaking to a company or engaging a tradesman who offers regular proof system what are some of the questions the key questions that they should ask and what should they look out for okay um, one the first thing you should ask the company is how long they've been in existence um, in doing the burglar proof system um, if they have more experience that means that they've been doing it a lot of times and if that is the case then they can showcase a lot of work they've done for for clients and when you see that then you know that clients like their work right two um, we should look at their finishing um, is it how the finishing is because if they don't treat the metals well that means it's going to rust but unfortunately can't get those informations because they do it at the hind side of the clients. When they are done, they just present it. Right. So you have to sometimes visit them to see what they are using 
in order to make those works. So as I said, the most important, make sure that they can give you samples of where they work. You've seen their samples of the work, and then you are sure that the quality, the quality of the work they are giving you is of good nature. Because once it's done, it's done. There's right. nothing more they can do about it. So yeah. look for reputable companies that are doing the Bukla Pro system, that have the know-how, that have the experience, that have been here for a long time, so that you not pay money only to find out that the place is closed up. The okay. money is gone, the investment is gone. Right. So and it's key to also visit their workshop, their right? workshop. to see to when see. they're actually working on your yes, yes, uh, yes. items. So yeah. you can tell them that when are you working, I'd like to come over and inspect and, expect, and see, see how, how the work thing. is going on. Perfect. Right. Perfect. Great. So thanks for that information. And uh, also, I wanted to ask, um, when the items are ready to be transported on site, uh, does the customer pay an additional charge or usually uh, the provider, as in yourself, would offer free delivery. How does it work? Is it all built in the cost or do you pay separately for delivery? Uh, how does it work as a standard across board uh, with most uh, installers? Okay. So for us, um, transport, installation, and any other works um, related to the local food, it's already in the 70%. Right. So when you pay, we do the transportation, we do the installation, all as part of, so you don't pay any hidden or additional costs. Um, the only thing is when we come and we need to do chiseling work, that one will, and you need to be plaster. That will be the cost of the client. So we don't do plaster works. When the walls are not straight and we need to cut it with a, a cutting machine, we will do that. If we come and we need to cut your tiles in order for us to fix the burglar pool system, we will cut it. But we have good, very good high-tech machines that cut those floors so that you don't have any problem. With some but, sort of diamond blades. Like diamond blade. Right. But in case we do cut and we maybe the, 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 the tiles get broken or stuff like that, that will not be the cost of the company. <laughs> right. Yes. Okay. So in, in that scenario as well, uh, can the person, obviously maybe they, they have their own professional, can they get that person to do their cutting for you to avoid any sort of damages uh, on your part? Is that also possible? Most often we do the cutting because if, if we allow somebody else to do the cutting, we'll have issues. If you've done your tiles, majority of the time, I'll say 98, 99%, we have no issue with it. So majority of the time we have no issue. When we cut, we cut and make sure that it's cut well. But if there's going to be some minor issues, it's not going to be much. Right. It's not going to be much. So transport installation costs is, is already paid, it's already included in the 70%. We'll come do the installation. Cost of generator is all included when you don't have light at the site. Right. So yes. when we don't have light at the site, you bring along your bring own source of, source of power, power to, 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 to do, do your installation. Yes. Okay. So in the event where somebody has engaged a company, they've done the installation, uh, uh, it's not closing well, or mm -hmm. even in your your uh, somebody has engaged your company and you make an installation, but. Uh, it's not closing well or for any reason maybe it's not positioned well would you come back to, to alter it or when you make the installation do you invite the client to do an inspection before you leave how does it really go after installation what happens after installation we call the client the client comes to inspect it if everything is okay remember I said you pay 70% and after installation and you the client you are satisfied they give us the balance of 30%. So that is how confidence we are about the product that we are offering. Great. That we are willing to wait for you to inspect and everything is okay, then you give us the balance. So um, you, you, you have no issue when there is something not locking well or something is not right, that you call us will not come. We will definitely come and come and sort those things out. Majority of the time, we leave the place okay Make sure that the locking systems are locked. So when the client comes and opens and closes, he knows that the job is done.